Good morning, Killeen ISD. My name is Ashley Pareda. I am the owner of Career in STEM. Thank you so much for being with me on the webinar today or watching this recording later. I'm really excited to be an awarded vendor for your district because I see that you have a lot of opportunities for career and college readiness. Your CTE program, advanced academics, gifted and talented, lots of good STEM stuff going on and I'm really thrilled to be part of it. So let's dive in for some of my best tips and tricks for Killian ISD. Here's a quick about me. I am a licensed STEM educator. I have been teaching in many different capacities since 2008. Also, everything that you're about to see is tried and tested and proven with real students, whether it's pre-K here at home doing fun stuff over the summer with my kids or youth group, teaching here at the inner city high schools in my state. I've been involved in a lot of different aspects of STEM education and everything I offer for you has been tried and true. I wanted to quickly touch on the tremendous opportunity in STEM careers. I know that this is probably preaching to the choir. Most of you on the call are probably well aware of the tremendous opportunity. There will be 3.5 million new jobs in the next five years in STEM. STEM professionals earn double the national average. And nationwide, there's a tremendous need among STEM employers for qualified STEM workers. There's over 2 million jobs that are going unfilled in STEM every year. This means employers are desperate for talented STEM workers. You're likely experiencing some pressure from your local workforce because they need workers and there's just not enough of them coming out with the skills and talents that they need. Because of this, STEM companies are offering some incredible incentives, tuition reimbursement, training, paid training, relocation assistance, lots of awesome perks. So it's a great time to be interested in STEM and the mission of my company is to help teachers and students do that. My goal for you in this webinar is to help you help your students define their interests and connect them to STEM careers. I do this by doing the same thing, not by doing extra. I so oftentimes in education feel that there's a million different latest and greatest and this next new thing and this newfangled tool that I'm supposed to be trying. That is not my approach and that is not what I'm about to share with you in this webinar. I advocate for doing the same thing, delivering the same content, but through a new lens. That lens being the STEM career lens. So what does this look like when it comes down to an actual lesson? Here's an example, and this is the free resource that all of you who registered will be getting in your email. So this one specifically is about magnetic fields. Magnetic fields can be hard for students to grasp. It's a little bit nebulous, it's kind of abstract, so hard to understand. I did the exact same thing that I had always done, but I delivered the lens the lesson through the lens of an MRI technician. MRI technicians work with MRI machines. MRI machines work through magnetic fields. So it was a real world career-based connection. And really at the beginning level, all you need to do is name that career and then deliver the rest of the lesson through that lens. So they still built the same thing to show that magnetic fields exist. I just called it a mag an MRI machine instead of just building it for building its sake. Then students used the thing to pick up paper clips showing that a magnetic field existed. I had them arrange the paper clips into a body. So we're not doing anything different. I'm just using different words with my students. We still used an online simulation. And then at the end, students still used their exit ticket, which was my personal favorite, with claim evidence reasoning format, but they answer it through the lens of an MRI technician. They're having to explain, rather than just what magnetic fields are and how they work, they're still explaining that, but through the lens of an MRI technician. So we've just gone a step further. They're still learning the same content, they're still doing the same lesson, but now they've also connected it to a STEM career that exists. 
This can be done with any grade level. Most of my resources are focused on middle and high school. It's just what I'm most familiar with and where I've lived most of my educational career. But it extends all the way down to pre-K. So we do have a pre-K STEM career curriculum, which is actually one of our best sellers. And an example from that would be blocks. My daughter is in preschool. She loves to build with blocks. And one day I said, you know what, Mila, you'd make a great civil engineer. They like to build things, buildings, just like you. So by just that simple interaction, that simple sentence, I've at least raised her awareness that, hey, there's a career connected to this thing that I like. So obviously it will be a little bit more complex as students get older, but really at the basic level, you're just naming a career that connects to what your lesson is already about. So at least students are now aware, if they are interested in the lesson, that a career relates to this. So you can definitely do this on your own. This is not rocket science. Or you can use any of our prep-free resources that I've already developed using this approach. I have over 150 different items in my store. I'll give you a quick glimpse of what that looks like. So from web quests to posters to full lesson plans and curricula, we have already done a lot of the hard work for you if you're interested in implementing the STEM career lens. One last thing that I want to emphasize is that the goal of this approach is not to convert every student into a STEM professional. The goal is to help them explore and connect with careers that they otherwise might not have ever heard of or been exposed to. Imagine if starting in preschool, every lesson that you went through in science or math technology was connected to a career. By the time your educational experience is over, you'd be aware of a tremendous number of different careers and have gone a step further and kind of test drove that career through the lesson that the teacher was already going to experience. I'm sure you know many adults who are miserable in their career, and I do honestly believe that if more people were given better awareness of what careers existed, many more people would be happy and have found a job that's a better fit because they would have known what existed. So step number two. You've tried out the STEM career lens. You've got some students who are interested in maybe that lesson for the day, or you wanna to try to do some research on your own to find careers that match. And you can do this on your own. There are some awesome free resources such as the Bureau of Labor Statistics or ONET, or you can use all of the resources that I have developed with my Career in STEM Explorer. This is the Career in STEM this tool is specifically designed for two functions. One, to help you as a teacher find careers that connect to your curriculum, and two, as a research tool for your students. There are five different pages. Each of them are curated, curated collections of almost 100 different career profiles. I'll show you the alphabetical list. It's the most popular among my subscribing districts through an example of how you can use this in the two purposes that I mentioned. So number one, as a teacher, say you're doing a lab, a lab on phase changes. Phase changes is physics. I can come to this list, kind of preview, see if anything catches my eye. Oh, physicist. So I can click that link, explore more, and then deliver the lesson that I was already going to teach, but through the lens of a physicist. Similarly, Similarly, these tools can be used by students. So say you taught a lesson about computer science and you had some students that were really interested, they really liked computer science, you could send them to one of these pages and they can research all the many different careers that exist in computer science. And we add new careers to these pages every single day. Our Career in STEM Explorer tool has been very popular among advanced learners, so students who finish early in the academic, normal academic classroom for enrichment, and also among teachers using it as a research tool for themselves, as well as building out their own lessons um, in addition to the ones that we've already built. So if you've gotten kids interested in STEM careers, the last thing you want to do is leave them hanging. With our Korean STEM Explorer, students can independently or with your help, explore STEM careers at home, at school, wherever they want. 
Recapping, as an awarded vendor for your district, Colleen ISD teachers are eligible for 15% off everything that we offer. Our instructional resources, the Career and STEM Explorer, professional development, and curriculum consulting. You can see the full list and explore the links that we previewed in this webinar at careerinstem.com slash product slash Killeen. So I know I have a couple on the phone. Unfortunately, I can't like hear you. <laughs> so I'm more than happy to answer any questions. This was just a very brief overview of career in STEM and my favorite tips and tricks for using it. I am more than happy to jump on a call or schedule a one-on-one -on -one demonstration if that would be helpful for you. And you can reach me anytime at ashley at careerinstem.com. It's been a pleasure working with you and I'm really excited to be an awarded vendor for your district to collaborate in college and career readiness for all your students.